1956, Lou wrote his biography, a book called Devil at My Heels, that told of his life's adventure. And the book was optioned by Universal Studios to be made into a movie. They called me and wanted to buy the story for Tony Curtis. And so we came to an agreement and we signed up. But then Tony Curtis ended up taking the movie Spartacus. And so the project was abandoned. Every year they kept saying, oh, we're, we're going to wait till next year, next year. And pretty soon they just forgot about it. During that time, he put bread on the table and put a roof over our heads by speaking about his story at various churches. I thought it would make a great movie. You know, yeah. why haven't they made a movie out of yeah. it? Well, I don't know, you know. <laughs> I realized, wow, this has, been, this has been shelved for decades. I wonder if this is ever going to happen. I first came across Louis' story while I was researching Seabiscuit, which was my first book subject. And I got an original clipping about Seabiscuit from 1938. I turned it over, and on the back, there was an article about a running phenom named Louis Zamperini. She read that in the old newspaper, uh, where the Times called my coach and said, Louis hasn't lost a mile race for five years. If he loses this year, who do you think's going to beat him? He said, Seabiscuit. I was really fascinated. And once I was done with Seabiscuit, I looked him up. I wrote him a letter. He called me. We had a wonderful conversation. And I knew right away this was what I wanted to write about for my next book.